people think I'm nuts. Almost live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Durand, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Depot, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly with your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. September 3rd, 2023. Welcome to this Sunday, 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 Sunday. Cafe Devo. As we continue our way through the Labor Day weekend, I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. You know my pal Bugsy. He's hanging out over there in his usual spot, keeping me company. Hey, if you're in town, we hope to see you today at worship, 10 a.m. We'll be saving you a seat here at First Congregational Church. And if you can't connect with us, we hope that you'll do so through the live stream. Either way, it's a day of worship. Let's lift up the Lord today. Once again, today we return to the book Truth for Life for our devotional thought. This is the second volume of Pastor Alistair Begg's collected daily devotions, copyright 2022, The Good Book Company. Romans 8, verse 1. There is, therefore, now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. One of the great malignant heresies of our day is the prosperity gospel. Proponents of this false teaching aim to persuade men and women that great material blessings like health and wealth and general prosperity await all those who just have enough faith or who give them just a little bit more money. God never made any such promise. Such promises of prosperity await us in eternity, but not necessarily in this life. Too many lives of faith have been ruined by false teachers promising right now what God only promised for eternity. In guarding against the prosperity gospel, however, we must not miss the glorious truth that in Christ, some of heaven's blessings do break into our earthly existence. In fact, one of the most beautiful outpourings of God's kindness belongs to us now. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Surely there is a hardly more attractive offer than being made right with the creator of the universe now, and not only now, but for all eternity. This status of no condemnation is not just something we aspire to and reach eventually. Paul said this blessed state is for us now, immediately. If we are in Christ, united to him by faith, then we have already stepped forward into peace with God. And that's better than prosperity. We already stand in grace, not condemnation. There is no middle territory between standing in grace and standing in condemnation. If we are not justified, that is, if we are not declared righteous on the strength of Christ, then we are condemned. Jesus stated it plainly. Whoever believes in me is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God, John 3.18. There is no middle ground on which to stand, but there is no need to seek to stand on the middle ground. For a sinner who turns in repentance to faith in Jesus, their present reality is immediately transformed to a living hope. God moves them from death to life. He plants them in the soil of his grace where he nourishes them with steadfast hope. They are rooted firmly under the endless smile of his mercy. What greater prosperity could there possibly be? <laughs> For most of us, it's easy to see all that we do not have to let our focus drift in that direction. Maybe you have reason today to wish that God would give you better health or greater wealth or more time or improved relationships or whatever 
factor you want to put in that blank. But for a moment, pause and see what you do have. That which you have and cannot lose. You enjoy the smile of God. You will never face his condemnation if you know Christ as your Savior. That is his promise. And it is more precious than anything this world can ever offer. And all that he promises, he does. For more on this, go to the book of John, chapter 3, and read verses 1 through 21. Father, you are ever faithful. You are so good to us, Lord. And we ask that you would bless us. Bless us, Father, so we can be a blessing and guide our steps through this day. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that'll do it for us on this Sunday edition of Cafe Devo. Hey, I know it's Labor Day weekend, but if you're in the Durand area, we invite you to join us for worship today at 10 a.m., unless, of course, it's later in the day and you already missed it, in which case you can tune in to the live stream that also went live at 10 a.m., but we leave those up so you can worship along sometime during the day, whatever time it is when you click the start button. Either way, set aside some time for worship today. It is the Lord's Day. Hey, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow.